Anton and the Talking Potato. A play in three scenes about Anton and a talking potato. By Charles Berman and Pete Bowers. Hi ho the dairy yo, the farmer in the Platon Engine Street Community Co-op Garden. That totally doesn't fit. That's the joke. The farmer takes a carrot, the farmer takes a carrot. Hi ho the dairy yo, the farmer in the Platon Engine Street Community Co-op Garden. Is that the joke again? You know, just because you say a joke twice doesn't make it twice as funny. Go to hell! I'm not singing for you. I'm singing for me. I'm enjoying myself. Well, at least somebody's enjoying yourself. All right. Hey, where? Get back here. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, uh, dig a little bit more to your left. Oh, all right. All right, who is this? This isn't funny. Well, circumstances being what they are, I can't really show you myself at the moment. Is this the voice of God or something? Um, sure. Whatever you think. And the voice of God is telling you to dig a little bit to the left. Uh, uh, yes, Lord. Uh, uh, Master? Should I call you Master? No, 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 and don't dig there. Dig to the left of where you were digging before. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sorry, God. Uh, how about God? Can I call you God? If you want to? It's not really necessary. Uh, okay. Rock. Root. Potato. Uh, God? Okay, all right, I'm, I'm not God. I'm a potato. What? Do I really have to repeat that? So that means I threw you over there. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Aha! Whoa, 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 hold it, hold it. Cool your jet, Sparky. I'm kind of afraid of heights, dude. You're a talking potato? Yeah, you have uh, pretty much summed up what you know about me. This is incredible. If you'd say so. No, it doesn't matter if I say so. This is incredible. I can make so much money charging people to come see you. Huh. Well, that would be boring. They'd just be looking at a potato. But you talk. Have I said anything interesting yet? Look, as a potato, I don't think you appreciate how interesting it is for a human to see a potato talk. And you're not actually seeing me talk. I don't have lips or a mouth. Are you calling me crazy? I'm not the one talking to a potato. Listen, I'm telling you, people will pay to see this. Why bother? Why not just get the money directly instead of making people give you their money? What? What do you... Like how? I'm a talking potato. I grant wishes. I've never heard of a talking potato that grants wishes. And how many talking potato stories have you heard? Let me think. Okay, spoiler, it's zero. Aw, I would have gotten it. So, I get three wishes? Uh, if you want three. Well, how many can I get? As many as I can grant. Is this one of those you can't ask for more wishes things? No. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to wish for more wishes? I don't know. It's a rule or something. Who else ever granted you magic wishes? N nobody. And nobody stupid enough to make a rule like that gets to grant magic wishes. Really? Yeah, it's like a rule or something. Okay, I wish for a yo-yo. Poof, there you go. <laughs> wow, this is just like the yo-yo I brought with me. Yeah, you know, you should probably wish to not be such an idiot. Okay, I wish not to be such an idiot. Poof, cool. <laughs> uh, what's so funny? I totally just got that joke I heard this morning. <laughs> you wouldn't actually wish to be... Oh, smart, would you? Didn't I just do that? Okay, um, before we do any more of these, you should really put some thought into what you wish for, all right? All right. My much less idiotic brain tells me that you make sense. Well, you're half right. What half? The top half. Listen, I've been granting wishes for the past five or six minutes now, so I think I know a thing or two about wishing. Okay. 
Are you going to tell me? Oh, 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 you want me to tell you? Yes. Okay. So, tell me already. Tell you what? What you've learned about wishing. Oh, 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 okay. Well? Oh, what, you mean now? Well, what do you think I meant? Ah, thing number one that I've learned about wishes. You have to be specific. Like with what? Well, just in general. For instance, you could say you wanted to find a girl, and I could make you dig up the body of a dead six-year-old girl, if I was a dick. But you're a potato. Okay. Uh, Let me try another one. Uh, Say you wish for an unending supply of beer. I can make the world flooded with beer, and then you drowned, if I felt like drowning everybody that day. What you say is, I wish a beer would appear in my hand any time I want it to, in a glass. Of course, I could make a 12-ton glass of beer appear in your hand, and it would squish you, but... You know, let's be reasonable. Wow, man. This is way harder than I thought it would be. So you thought about this before? No. Why do you ask? You know what? You're right. This is going to be much harder than you thought it was going to be. Okay. I want a hundred million dollars. Uh, all right. You asked for it. Poof. Delivery. Delivery for some stupid guy. Are you some stupid guy? What the hell? Why are you calling me stupid? Delivery. Here's a hundred million Monopoly dollars. No way, man. I wished for a hundred million dollars in real money. See? This is what I'm telling you. You gotta get the details right. Poof. Here's a hundred million Zimbabwe dollars. Worth about a penny. Jeez. What can I get with this? I I don't know. Half a Tic Tac? Or two fifty million Zimbabwe dollar bills? Great. All right. Pay attention. What you need to do is wish for 100 million real American dollars now in your own bank account, tax-free, from a legal source, in a bank that isn't about to close or burn down, uh, that nobody else has any legal obligation to, without the U.S. dollar immediately entering a period of hyperinflation, and without quotation marks around the word dollars, and with no stupid tricks, or, 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 or smart tricks. You think that covers everything? Uh, yeah, that's about everything. Okay, I wish for what you just said. Hey, guess you're not as much of an idiot as I thought you were. <clears throat> Poof. So, is that it? Yeah, that's it. I'm rich? You're rich. Cool. Now I wish I could find a girl. So, do you grant wishes for other people or just Anton? Uh, just Anton. Uh, why? What would you wish for? I don't know if I should tell you if I'm never going to get my wish. Come on, go for it. It'll be fun. Like a, you know, what if kind of thing. You seem pretty sure I wouldn't get it. I mean, you might get it through some other means. Like, not directly magic potato related? Well, I suppose. Okay. All right. As long as you don't tell Anton. Uh, look, if he wishes for me to tell him... Other than that, if you promise, I'll tell you. All right, all right, uh, as long as we know how things stand. I wish I had someone to talk to, ever, other than Anton. He's great, but sometimes I feel like my whole function in life is just to fit into his life somehow. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it's like I... What did you say? Wait, hold on. I'm not trying to belittle you or anything, but... In all reality, your function is to fit into his life somehow. I mean, he wished for you. You mean, are you saying I'm somehow not real? Well, now, hang on, hang on. You are. I mean, he wished for you, and then poof, you were real. I mean, technically, it's kind of the same as anybody else on the planet. Wait, but I have memories. I remember growing up, my whole life up until now. I have things I've owned for years. My first baby tooth, my old stuffed bear, my first dress, my When I Meet a Man Like Anton journal from third grade. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Magic is weird, right? I mean, I do it all the time, and I can't explain it. You think you would have wished for a girl with no memories or past? Well, he did do that a couple of times, but he had to throw those out and get more specific. You know, he's not so good at that. Yeah, I've heard him try. It seems like you're the one that lays everything out, and then he wishes for whatever you say. Yeah, I I gotta stop doing that. So, right now, while he's off with his friends playing polo on his yacht, I'm supposed to be... Anything you want. He didn't wish anything particular for you to be doing while he wasn't around. 
And I didn't think I might want to have friends or a job or a life. No, I, I, I don't think that crossed his mind. Asshat? Uh, you know, I'm not really so sure he means to be such an asshat. What do you mean? Well, I've come to know him over the past few weeks, and, you know, I hate to say it, but he's just not that bright. And he's a little bit self-centered. Not gonna argue with you there. So, if he's a jerk to you, don't take it personally. I really don't think it's intentional. Even when you unintentionally run over someone with your car, you still hit them. Oh, harsh. I have a point, right? You don't think I'm as dim as Anton is, do you? Oh, 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 not even close. I could take that two ways, you know? How do you know? Well, it's pretty obvious. And if we're really getting down to it, uh, I kind of made you out of thin air, and I didn't make you stupid. Well, thanks. I really appreciate it. Yeah, so do I. Julifer! Julifer! Hey, ready for some sex? Oh, Anton, you're so romantic. You know it, and I didn't even need to wish to be romantic. That's all me. No potato. Great. Yeah, and I'm not taking credit for that, either. All right, go on upstairs. Really, Anton? Okay, I wish you would go upstairs. Are you really going to do this? Yeah. Poof. What's going on? Well, you didn't wish for her to go upstairs now. (laughs) Awesome. Potato! Or say how many stairs she should go up, or which flight of stairs, or not to go right back down again. Seriously? You know what the hell I'm talking about. If you're going to use your wishes for sex slavery, I'm not going to make it extra easy. We're going to have to talk about this sex slavery thing. Upstairs. After the sex slavery, I guess. So how's it going, old spuddy? You know, I told you I don't like the potato puns. Don't let them... Don't let them get under your skin. Yeah, that's that's the kind I don't like. Or should I fry again? Man, what are you in such a bad mood for? Listen, um, you're sort of becoming a jerk. No, I'm not. Yes, yes you are, and don't argue about it because it's an indisputable fact. Well, maybe that's what happens when you become rich and powerful and you have women and everything. You become a jerk. No, if you're a jerk already, and then get all that stuff, you apparently become a bigger jerk. Since when do wish-granting potatoes get to tell me how to act? Would you, would you say that since we've met, I've been helpful to you? You know, giving you good advice, that sort of thing? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, then here it is. I'm kind of hoping that when I'm gone, that I'll have left behind a better person. What do you mean, when you're gone? Uh, well... You're not going anywhere, are you? You don't have any legs. Um, But you are magic. Hmm. Anton, I'm just a potato, and you haven't been keeping me in a cool, dark environment or anything. What are you talking about? Look at this huge house. It doesn't get any cooler than this. As always, you're missing the point. Nothing lasts forever, Anton. Not even perishable food items. What are you saying? I'm, I'm starting to go bad. Spoil? D- turn rotten? Phew! What a relief. And I was starting to think I was. Oh, 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 oh Anton. Anton, we need to talk about something. What? I haven't really been happy here for a while. What the hell? I didn't wish for a girl who would complain about being unhappy at me. In fact, I didn't wish for a girlfriend who would complain about anything. Period. Yet here I am. Yeah, what's up with that anyway? That's just it, Anton. You don't seem to recognize me as a real person. You just think I'm here to be an answer to your wishes. Well, yeah, you are. I was, but not anymore. What are you talking about? Wait, 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 no. I wish I knew what you were talking about. Anton, I've been seeing the magic potato. Yeah, I've seen him all over the house. I can never remember where I leave him. No, I've been seeing him romantically. Having an affair with him. The potato understands a lot more than you do, Anton. We connect on a level that you and I have never been able to. But, but, he's a potato! What could you possibly see in a potato? 
It was something in his eyes, Anton. I just looked into them, and I knew that it was more than just a potato. What? You mean like a side dish? Like he could talk, for one thing. Well, yeah, most potatoes can't do that. So, how do you even... Goodbye, Anton. Wait, what? You're leaving? I have to go through all those stupid, tiny, intricate details and all that trouble getting it right when I wish for another girl just because you have some kind of potato fetish or something? Yep. Damn it! Potato! Potato! (coughs) Oh, coming! Okay, first of all, this whole wish is your fault. If you weren't sleeping with Julifer, she wouldn't have developed consciousness or her own needs or whatever. And I would never need to wish for another girl. Now, I want another girl who is not a transgender girl and is human-sized. Okay, point one, we haven't been doing a whole lot of sleeping. Ew. And point two, if you had treated Julifer with a little understanding, if you had given her even a shred of dignity... If you had let her meet some humans other than you, she wouldn't have wanted to sleep with a potato. Ugh, this is like more work than a pet. And point three, you can stop your wish right there, because I can't do it for you. What? Oh, you heard me, Anton. When's the last time you didn't grant me a wish? That would mean I would have to try to keep her here. And she likes to sleep with vegetables. And I'm not into that. A potato! A magic talking potato. Not just any vegetable. Do you think I would sleep with a cucumber or a carrot? Well, it would make more sense to me. Potato, I am telling you, you (coughs) better... (coughs) I I just... I mean, I I just can't, Anton. He's riding Anton. Look at him. Smell him. No potato lasts forever. I don't think he'll even be good enough to talk for very long. Oh, she's right, Anton. I, I hate to say it, but it's true. All potatoes rot, those that aren't eaten or frozen anyway, which I wasn't. Oh, you just need a bath. No, Anton, I know vegetable decay when I fall victim to it. No more wishes. That part of me is spoiled. I hope I hope you're satisfied. You know, you could have wished to fix the environment, or for an end of disease and famine, or for potatoes not to decay naturally. Are you serious? That would have worked? Yeah. Oh, man, this sucks. Why does this stuff always happen to me? You bastard! Potato is the best thing that could have ever happened to you, but you never appreciated him. You're just losing a vegetable. I'm losing the only person, or thing, or one I ever loved. And Potato is losing his own life. That's why I'm leaving, Anton. There's nothing here for me now. Potato is more of a man than you ever could be. And unlike you, he's a good man. (laughs) Shucks, Juliver. He used his magical wish-granting ability to create and to heal. You just use your wishes for... Well, mainly for not knowing how to phrase things correctly. You could have made this world a paradise for everyone. Everyone! But who cares about that, Anton? You got your money. You've were one of the most famous people alive. You've had more sex in the past month than most people have in their whole lives. And what will you have to show for it? Loneliness, death, despair. Thanks, Anton. Thanks a whole f***ing hell of a lot. Um... You're welcome? Um... Juliver, before you go, just one last kiss. Goodbye, Potato. You were my wish come true. Well, this sucks. You know, I warned you about this weeks ago. Huh. And somehow that doesn't change the level of suckiness. Goodbye, Anton. What? Potato? Potato? So now I spent all the money... I lost the house, I lost the yacht. I can't get a girl to save my life. Wow, great. That'll be 1758, please. And nobody cares who I am 
Or what I have to say anymore. Well, I care. Who are you? <laughs> Look in your grocery bag and see. There you go, a little bit deeper. No, that, that's a Twinkie. Yay, you found me. I am the talking, wish-granting tomato you just bought. Here to make your every wish and desire come true. Oh, no. No way. Hell no. Ha, <laughs> ha,